Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a Hyper Japan haul video. So just everything I kind of bought, picked up, got free from Hyper Japan. Because obviously I went yesterday, there is a vlog up from the festival yesterday. So I'll leave a link above for that as well. But so, first of all I bought a couple of plushies. So I got this little cute um, hamster. It's just really cute. It's like got this little um, this little berry in its hand. It's literally only a couple of quid, but I thought it was really cute. I'm probably gonna put it on my bag. But I just for some reason I found these really cute, so I got that one. Um, I managed to find this one, which is an official Nintendo one. So this is Mr. Tingle. So he's really cute. I actually love Mr. Tingle. I really want to get the Mr. Tingle. DS game or 3DS game I'm not sure which platform it's on but yeah he's really cute you know so I kind of picked him up so I think that one's really cute and um, then I did pick up some games obviously so first of all start with this one so I picked this up this is a US exclusive so this is Yoshi Topsy Turvy so it comes in this kind of green and white card as you can see on the back I paid £15 for it um, I've never actually seen it before and it seems really good it's, it's actually got the same format in it as the Kirby pinball game so you actually tilt your Game Boy Game Boy Advance sorry left and right up and down to make it move so I've never actually played one of them I'm really looking for the Kirby one so I thought I'm gonna pick that up the next one I got was another Game Boy Advance game, um, which is Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. Again, this is a USA cartridge. Um, this one was 25 quid, but I picked this one up because I'm trying to get all the original Kirby games. I really enjoyed playing them as a kid. Um, in case you didn't know as well, all the Game Boys are not region locked, so they're region free. So you can pick up Japanese carts, you can pick up US carts, any carts will work on any Game Boy. So that's why I don't mind, I kind of like collecting for the Game Boy. But yeah, I love Kirby, so I picked that one up. Then I picked up a couple of ROM hacks. So ROM hacks are normally either a real game um, taken off and put onto a cheap cart so they can repossess, uh, resell it, sorry. Or it's kind of like a game that someone will take um, Smurfs and they will take the Smurf characters out and they will make it keep it, all the platform the same but other bit change bits in it different characters and stuff so this one that I bought um, is Resident Evil it just says limited edition on it I have actually checked it it is Resident Evil Gaiden which is one that I really really want so and it's actually this is really cheap like I paid 10 quid for this and it come with this little, the little plastic, official plastic box as well. So that's great. Normally Gaiden box goes for like 130 quid. Gaiden on its own can go for like 50. So I'm quite happy with, I don't find with the ROM hack so I can at least play it. If you want to know if a game's a ROM hack or original, um, that will always say game up the top if it's a ROM hack because I don't think I've got any others with me, but for here, for instance, this says Game Boy Advanced and that's official. But yeah, this one I'm really, I probably will sit down and play a bit, even though the graphics were never very good on Gaiden anyway. Um, the next one I picked up was this one, which is another ROM hack. This one is called um, Super Pika Land. So as you can see, you've got loads of stuff going on. Like if you look, up there if you can see it you have Pikachu on top of an airplane carrying a Bulbasaur it's quite a funky cover and um, we have tested this one it works really well it's actually Super Mario Land and they've changed everything to do with that to be a Pokemon so it's the same platform but they've changed all the boxes to that you can break to Pokeballs they have changed Mario to Pikachu they have changed um, the snakes into Ekins. They have changed some of the little jumpy things into Jigglypuffs. Um, I'm not sure of the girl you seem to be trying to save at the end, but I'm gonna complete this, completely play this one and do a proper review on it. And I'll do some game footage on this one as well, which is quite difficult on a handheld, but I will do that because it's awesome. Um, I did pick up some other games. So, 
I got this one, which is Harvest Moon Frantic Farming. So this is the last Harvest Moon game that I needed in the DS series to complete my series. So I paid £12 for it, as you can see. It came with everything inside, including the little manual, which I wouldn't have really picked it up otherwise. I think I paid like a tenner for it. I didn't pay a lot, 12 quid possibly, but <coughs> it's not the best. You know, it's got story modes, it's got different characters, have different story modes. It's got a lot of different things in it, but I love Harvest Moon, so I wanted to complete my collection. So I got that one. Um, then I picked up this one. So this is on the Nintendo DS. This, this is Tetris DS. But it's also, as you notice, has Mario there. So this is one linked in with, obviously Nintendo, but the Nintendo characters. So this has a multiple of different modes, and you can play with all your favourite characters, i.e. Samus, uh, Donkey Kong, Zelda, Mario, and loads of others. So it's actually quite good. There's six different game modes on it as well. So I'm pretty sure I paid about a fiver for this, so that's not too bad. Um, I managed to find this I never actually played it when it first came out but I kind of want it because I'm trying to do like an almost complete DS collection which I know is ridiculous because there's so many games but so is this it's band hero this actually comes with a lot of stuff so this comes with and this is the other reason why I was happy to buy it because it came with everything so it's for DS Lite for starters so this has this little drum set so you put this on and so you can press the right coloured drums so you don't need this as, as soon as you work out which ones are but you have this which is the little guitar thing you have to have the DS Lite because that cartridge plugs into the Game Boy Advance slot in the DS Lite so that this actually still came with the plectrum in the bottom of this which is hard to find and then again it came with the game in the little cartridge it came with extra little backing bits which is quite nice and also the instructions as well so it's nice to find all the bits actually together like I've seen a lot of these for sale and they're always cheap which is great but they never you never get all the bits in it and this actually only cost me a pound which is really good because I said it's complete and it goes with my DS collection um, other things that I got was some of these. So there was a nice lady at um, Hyper Japan. I will see, she's got some links here. So I will show you them as well. And I will see if I can link them below as well. But um, she really likes her card. But she makes loads of pictures and she makes stickers as well. So I'm going to put these on my laptop. So my friend got some as well. But so I got. Foxy from the Snap series, which is saying sorry out of order, and I also picked up a Bomberman sticker. So she had Pokemon ones, she had loads, and um, Gravity Falls, I believe, as well. Everything. So, yeah, I'll link her down below because, yeah, like I really liked her stuff, and I'm sure uh, you guys will too. So, I'll link that down below. Um, and we got these as well. So again, they've got links here, so I'll show you these and then I'll put the links down below also. So these pe these people did jewellery and you can see, first of all, they came on these really pretty cards, which is lovely. And um, so these are earrings. So you have, I can't even remember the name of this Pokemon, which is terrible. <laughs> Thank you. So you've got Vaporeon, which is really cute. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know the name of this character. What? Oh, Cammy. Oh, Cammy. I'm gonna agree with the person standing behind the camera. Oh, Cammy. Um, these are not, these my boyfriend bought. So they were he bought for himself. So they're these ones. So they're really cute. They're like the little fox. I've seen it. The fox with the the little red details on him, which is cute. Wolf then? Is it a wolf? Okay. I I've never seen it. Genuinely. Now I'm gonna. Now I've agreed to watch that. Now I've said that. Haven't I? Huh? It's a game. Oh, it's a game, is it? Now I've agreed to play the game. I've actually... Is it a game? I've got that on the Wii. I've just never played it. 
well at least I'm honest. Um, he has got another set which he's actually got in at the moment. I don't know where the odd one is hanging up on the board, it doesn't matter. Um, which is the little um, Crash Bandicoot, like every time um, the guy who hangs around with you, you're live, I can't remember his name as well. Waku Waku, that's it. I never really knew his name, I just kind of was like, he went gold, I'm happy. So, but yeah, he's got those ones which are really cute too. Um, I will leave the link to that one in the description below. We picked these up, which is, they were these were free in the VR section. Unfortunately, we didn't realise you had to book the VR experience, so we never got to do it, but we will next time when we go. Um, so these were free, and they're just generic posters, but they're actually really nice posters. So this one is Bruto, which is really, it was actually really well made, it's quite thick which is nice and on the back obviously it shows you the blu-ray and the dvd so obviously it says meet the next generation at the top but they're actually really nice and really well done i think we we're going to get them framed so we can get them put up um then we've got this one which is dragon ball uh, super which again is really nice cardboard like kind of thick paper um we did well to not smush these and then on the back it shows all the DVDs, the original mangas and stuff like that, which is kind of pretty. So it says start your collection. So they're quite nice. So I'll put them down there so I don't muddle them up. So one of the things that I picked up was this. Again, so this is done by Ladybird Likes, making nice things for nice people. Um, it says, oh hello, so that's her card. And that's the bits there again I will put the link in the description below and obviously I'll label everything what everything is so you guys can hopefully find these people too so she did some very nice um, earrings jewelry necklaces everything it's really pretty so these are actually porcelain um, so it comes on a silver chain which obviously if I do that you can see it's quite long but this one the one I picked up was a little otter she had loads she had like little cats dogs dragons everything but if I kind of do that that is the little otter it's really cute kind of a running long running joke but it was kind of cute so um, yeah it's like his face is really cute as well so I quite like these ones because it looked like it was almost holding a little oyster so I will wear that it's quite nice it's gonna go it's like quite a nice length so it's not gonna like go basically down my bra so it's quite nice that it's not going to do that because I struggle but yeah so that's really nice and I'll leave the description to that below this I believe was 18 pounds and but she did have some plain earrings for like five quid I believe so that she's done got cheaper stuff as well as more expensive stuff so the other thing we got was this this is sparkling sake, sakia, is that it? Sake. sake. I don't drink this. I don't drink really, do I? I'm boring. But this is my boyfriend's again. But this is sake. So we got this. So there was two different flavours, I believe. Lemon and another flavour. And the lemon wasn't very nice. I believe everybody in my group tried it and they didn't like it. Um, I'm boring. I don't really drink. So I didn't really try it. So it comes in a really nice, pretty blue bottle. Quite like the cherry blossom design on the bottle, which is quite pretty. My piss head friend Ben drank two bottles while we were there. So, but it's only like, it is alcoholic, but it's only 5%, so it's not too bad. But yeah, so that'll be nice. I don't know whether or not he's actually going to drink it or if he's going to display it. So, we will see. So I'll put that back in there because I don't want to break that. So then, other than that, um, I got a lot of bits and bobs. So, um, the first thing I got was this, which is just Hyper Japan Festival, which is a circle for some reason. It's like that. A lot of people were really hot. So they were generally, I saw so many people walking around with these going like that. But it's not actually anything in particular. But I picked it up. Um... So then 
we had a Hyper Japan Festival. This is like a little book to tell you what is going on, which is awesome. I didn't actually see the DJ, I don't even, I don't know what it's called, but I know what it is, Domo, Domo, which actually looks really awesome. But yeah, so this is just kind of like a plan. That's what the hall was kind of played out like. So we went to quite a lot of the stalls. We bought quite a lot of bits, too much. But then I got this, which was free. Um, this is Eat Japan. So this tells you a lot about sushi, a lot of how to, it tells you a lot of recipes. It tells you all about Japan really. Like if I go to, like all that kind of stuff it's quite interesting so we probably will actually you know take a look at it it explains a lot of their foods that they eat and what to put it with which is quite nice and it's flavors then it goes on to like rices and sweets and sauces and what to mix things with so I thought pick that up because I quite like Japanese food and my boyfriend quite likes a bit of it and he's willing to try some so yeah I thought that would be good because we could I could attempt to make it and he can pretend to like it. <laughs> um, then I got these two. This just says authentic Japanese ramen comes to Old Street. So I think these are just the same, pretty much the same thing but they had different pictures. And it tells you on the back where they are. But it's also telling you what they do, what they sell. So it's kind of like a Japanese takeaway, but it's kind of cute. I just thought the post pictures were kind of sweet, so I like them. And then pretty much the last thing we got as we walked out was this. So this is just explaining that there is going to be another Hyper Japan in London around Christmas, 24th to 22nd of November 2017 at the Tobacco Docks again in London. So obviously the pictures look quite nice again. They look like they've got the VR stuff. Obviously they're showing off the food and the culture and the clothes. But yes, so there's that, which is quite nice. So we will be going again, but I would recommend that if you are going to go, kind of like if there's a Nintendo store or if there's a gaming store, go to that first. Also, if you want to do anything like the VR, like I said, we didn't realise we had to book that. So unfortunately that was all sold out so we never got that experience which was quite sad. They had a Death Note one, they had girls dancing, they had lots of ones. They had try and read this, some guy was sitting there with it on trying to read a book. But it was quite nice so it's a shame that we didn't but it's just one of those things. Um, but yeah we're definitely going to go next time but we're just going to book those things. Uh, I am just going to randomly add this in as well which is we went to Madame Tussauds afterwards. And I got a little cute Captain America coin, which is really pretty. So, it's really pretty. And on the back it says Marvel, uh, Madame Two Swords, and it's got obviously all these little stars as well. So, I got that one. I'm pretty sure other people got other ones. And we got loads of photos as well, which, if you don't know already, you can follow me on a lot of different things. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Twitch. So all the teas. So if you want to follow me on those, you're welcome to, and I'll leave a description, um, a link to them below as well. Um, if you want to check out my other Hyper Japan video, my vlog from the Nintendo store, I'll put that at the end of the video as well, so you can go on that. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. I do lots of gaming and other bits as well. But yeah, so let me know what you think. Leave any comments down below. I always reply to every comment. I really try hard to. But thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. So, bye. Hey guys, so this is really quick. Um, I forgot to add these three pictures that we bought as well. Um, so, they're actually again from quite hard card. I don't have a card to put with these. So I can't, otherwise I'd be able to tell you what store they came from, etc. I think they came from the same guy as this one. So, the, I'm pretty sure they came from that one. But so you've got Okami, which is this one, which is quite pretty. So you've got that one. Then we got Nanaki, which is that one, which is really pretty. And then you've got Arcanine. I'm not actually sure what ball that is there. I think it's a sil it's not a silent ball, is it? 
I don't think it's the sign up. Sign up ones are white, aren't they? Masters are blue. Nets are blue. I'm not. I think that's a night ball. It looks like a night ball to me. But yeah, so they're all really pretty and they're all on quite nice, um, nice card. What we're gonna do is we're probably gonna get these ones framed, and then they can go on the wall somewhere. So I'm trying to hold them so you can kind of see them all. So these are the three that we got. But yeah, we're gonna get them framed and they're gonna go on the wall. So they'll be quite pretty up there. But yeah, I forgot to add these on earlier. So I just thought I'd add them on really quickly so that you guys could see these as well. So I'll attach this to the end of the other video. So obviously I'll show you this again. This came from, these all came, all my stuff came from Her for Japan. So this one is, I think I'd like to show that it's going on again in December, I believe. Yeah, December, November, sorry. November the 24th to the 26th at uh, Tobacco Docks in London. They do all traditional Japanese food, drink, culture, clothes. Um, they do a lot of their Japanese gaming stuff comes over as well. So if you want to do, know about the VR, they do the VR stuff. Um, they had a Nintendo stand this time, so hopefully they'll have something like that again next time. But yeah, it's all really good. They've got like kiosks and plushies and everything else. But don't forget as well, if you want to follow me on anything else, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr and Twitch. I will leave all the links below to everything that I bought. So you guys, if you want to check them out, you can check them out too. And I'll tag them in the link below so you guys can see that stuff as well. But if you want to leave me any comments down below, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I answer all my comments. I really try hard to answer every single one. It may take me a couple of days, but I do answer all of them. Um, I upload a video pretty much every day as well. So if you're looking for something to watch, you can check out all my other videos as well. There's plenty of them. I'll leave them linked at the end. But thanks very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. So, bye.